Hi, welcome to this three-part series about tough trays. In the first video, I'm going to be showing some of my ideas about my thought process in planning and doing some tough trays. In the second video, we're going to speak to Sally Wright, who is the author of Fantastic Tough Trays, and she's going to give some ideas and some of her thoughts about tough trays. And in the third part, we've got some contributions from the community sharing their best tough trays. Enjoy. So as you saw from that, the initial idea of that tough tray was built upon the ideas that my daughter and I were in the forest, we were exploring things, also she'd been reading owl babies. So we combined the two and we decided to collect feathers and parts to make a nest and talk through. I really like owl babies as a transitional uh, book that children can read as well and really just trying to introduce that story language. This next video that I'm going to show is an excerpt of more of an invitation to play whereby my child was interested in visits to the farm and talking about farm animals so we've had a look at different storybooks linked to farms but I wanted to make a cereal farm and invite her to build it with me. I wanted her to get used to kind of separating the animals, building enclosed spaces and as you can see from this, she was really enjoying it. Oh, you got a little house there as well. Yeah. That to keep the pigs in, mm. not out. There we go. In this third video, I'm going to show how I use a tough tray to help develop that vocabulary. Now this tough tray was built upon the interest that my daughter has with the Gruffalo story. And I wanted to just keep repeating some of the vocabulary from the book. So we went for walks in the woods, we explored where our pretend Gruffalo house was. We've used a lot of that vocabulary. Then we've returned home and she's built a very simple a path, kind of like a story map, a physical story map with all the different animals and then from there you'll see her reading a little excerpt from the Gruffalo and from here you know she's not exactly reading the words which I wouldn't expect at that age just yet but she's starting to use the story language, she's starting to turn the pages herself, she's starting to notice the order and the repeating parts of the book and most importantly she's enjoying reading. <laughs> a mouse took a story through the deep dark wood. The fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come and have peace to me. Oh, I'm not peace. Yeah, what is it? In my old pile. Not in my old pile. House. An underground house. It's only run to you fox, but no. I'm going to have tea with Gruffio. A Gruffio? What's a Gruffio? A Gruffio? Why don't you know? He's, he's got troubled crusts. Oh. Tusks. Crusts. And he has terrible claws and terrible teeth and his terrible jaws. Uh -huh. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this rocks. And his favourite food is Roasted fox. 
and I said the fox. I hope you found that interesting. In the next video, we're going to speak to Sally Wright, so make sure to click on the card that should be coming up on the screen now, and also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content weekly.